One of the things that we do at Northwestern is we look all over the country for, for talent and we're not afraid to take a risk on someone that we believe in. And Lauren um, comes from a non-traditional lacrosse area, Oregon. You know, in Lauren's case, a friend of mine had said, oh, I have a friend's daughter who plays out in Oregon, would you take a look at the film? And, as a matter, and I said, oh, tell her, send it to me. I'll take a look at it, you know, not thinking much of it. Yeah. I just couldn't get over how fast she was. I mean, obviously the first thing people see is the speed, and that's certainly something you know, that came across you know, loud and clear in that video. We actually ended up having to come out to camp, and once you know, we, Kelly saw her at camp, you know, we knew that was a kid that we kind of had to lock in. She was undeniable. Like every time she was out on the field, you noticed her. I remember she had like a bright pair of cleats on. I'd be like, well, the girl with the bright cleats is really impressive. <laughs> I vividly remember, you know, like meeting the girls on the team because they were the coaches at camp and I just thought they were like the coolest people on the earth. <laughs> um, I thought they walked on water. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to come here and I have to be like them. After that first year when she came, we really got to know her and, and we knew exactly who she was and, and we knew that we wanted to try to make her a Wildcat. Nineteen and a half to go, Northwestern in again. The pass from Stein in front, they score again, Lauren Gilbert. It's starting to look a little bit like yesterday. We are just having these different lists of different players, most of them first years who were getting on the board. And Gilbert gets on the board for the first time in her Northwestern career. You know, when you come into a program and you've been the best of the best in your area, you just kind of expect that you are going to be able to assimilate and do that in this program. And it's, it's a lot harder at this level. Gilbert had it saved by Shane. Kelly challenging me and asking me to pretty much like step up to the plate was really hard to hear at the time because you know basically it was you're not good enough to be on the field right now and like as someone who prides myself on always being the best and trying to be the best it was definitely a really tough pill to swallow. She said I'm gonna do whatever I have to to be successful and she worked really hard and that carried her confidence into that fall and then once she got over that hump it was you know, it was just great things ahead. Gilbert spinning, shooting, scoring. Lauren Gilbert. Gilbert dives in, she gets past and she scores. Impressive stuff from Lauren Gilbert, who has really persevered well for the Wildcats. Gilbert! No question doing everything right. The Northwestern Wildcats, the 2019 Big Ten Women's Lacrosse Tournament Champions. You know, I learned a lot that year from playing with like Selena and being on a team that was that good, um, but that I felt like still had room to grow. I think that's where I'm trying to kind of help fill in those gaps for us this year so that there's no question that we can dominate anyone. One of the last players in the country you want on the arc with a free shot here. She charges in again and scores again. Warren Gilbert automatic. I honestly start like moving back towards the circle just because I know like it's going to be a goal so um, I mean I know I have to go celebrate with her but everyone on the team kind of has the same mentality of like oh okay sweet like got another goal like ready to go for the next one. So if someone who's like a dodger like Lauren is and goes to the cage hard definitely gets fouled a lot and she realized that early on and then something she just wanted to work on and something that she's kind of perfected over the last three or four years. So pretty much my goal is like as soon as the whistle blows, exploding off the line. Um, the girl that's on my stick side, I pretty much try to like get a step on her so that I can ultimately like tuck under 
and beat her to the far side of the cage. What can you say about Lauren Gilbert that hasn't been said? Five goals off five free position chances. It all starts with speed, you know what I mean? Her first step is as quick as anyone's we've seen. Every team thinks there's something they can do that's going to make a difference and somehow manages to score either way and we're like, well, they thought, like they tried. The eight meter is obviously somewhat of a mental thing because the game totally stops and you're given the ball and you have time to think about like what you want to do. So I think like I've kind of developed a mental routine, you know, like telling myself like I know the ball's going in the back of the net, I know I'm beating this girl off the line and like really locking in on when that whistle blows, like I've already rehearsed it in my head and like I know what I'm going to do, sort of like when people take free throws in basketball, like they have their routine and it like settles you into what you're trying to do, it kind of take the same mentality to this. Pick your poison, you know, a lot of kind of try and play one-on-one -on -one and not foul or try to get physical with her and she's going to beat you at the eight-meter line. It's got to be very frustrating to play this Northwestern team uh, because they score at such an elite rate, over 20 goals a game. That's never been done in women's lacrosse uh, in the history of the sport. I mean, there's no question to me that I'm playing with the best attackers in the country every single day. They need to get a shot. Oh, a wonder goal. Aaron Koikendorf. Oh, that's a rocket. Izzy Skeen's got her second. Our whole team's amazing, but it gives teams a hard decision in terms of who they want to mark more, me or her, and I think she's an amazing person to have by my side. You know, this team is on, on another level, and I think we still have another level to get to, but I think the will to win is truly unwavering, and I never question in any game that it's there, and I think that that's what we have to keep building on every day in practice, and that's what's going to carry us as we head into even tougher competition in the postseason. You know, honestly, like, I can't think of one play or one moment that sticks out in my mind. Um, with Lauren Gilbert, it's an everyday thing. She's not exactly the loudest person on the field, but she definitely has the biggest presence just in terms of who she is as a person and a teammate. One of your best, if not your best players, your hardest work, and you're going to be in pretty good shape. And, you know, she leads by example, and kids are seeing that, and they're like, if Lauren's doing it, you know, I, I better be doing some of it because, you know, she's out there, the first one to practice, last one to leave. I mean, she's that kid. Sometimes her peers don't necessarily understand that she's, she's a rare type player. You don't always get those players that, you know, are humble, good people, and have that level of work ethic and commitment. And, uh, you know, I know that that's pretty uncommon.